And so we're far off. And today we have a Pokemon Showdown OU session. I finally have a reason to actually want to play OU because, um, well, one, the tier was changed around a little bit. Like, I'll go over some of the changes really quickly. Like, for, well, mainly it's BL that's changed. Um, the main changes being Gothitelle and, what's its name? Wobbuffet dropped. So, uh, I, I, that wasn't the main thing. The main thing is obviously what's on your screen right now. Deontay is now in the tier because it got released, I think, yesterday. So, <laughs> I decided to go ahead and use the Deontay on my team. It's my Stealth Rock Setter. And Deontay is actually an absolutely terrible Pokemon. If it stays in OU, I will be honestly shocked because, like, it does not get three physical attacking moves. It doesn't have Play Rough either, so I went with Moonblast as its stab. I have Moonblast, Diamond Storm, Stealth Rock, and Explosion. It gets two physical moves, if you want to consider Explosion a physical move, just saying. Um, and then I went with Brave Nature. Uh, next we have Physically Defensive Venusaur. I put a little bit of special attack in just so that it can actually hit hard, because this set doesn't have any stalling moves like Leech Seed or Toxic. Um, no item Tornado Therian for Acrobatics. Specially Defensive Cold Fable, Assault this Mamoswine, and Focus Sash. Alex Sam. So let's go ahead and find a battle. Um, I'm not sure where I am on the ladder right now, so if I end up finding horrible teams, I apologize. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm doing a session. So it's going on YouTube anyways. Oop. Alright, so... For some reason, I thought I had a bug type move on this team. What is wrong with me? Um, whatever. I'm just gonna lead out with. I have no spinner, which is a shame, but the main things on my team are Alakazam and uh, Tornadus, so better speed. Uh. <laughs> okay. This is my first game of today, actually, so I'm not sure how it's gonna go out. Um, I'm just gonna lead out with Diancy because then I can get out my rocks. It does. I don't think he has a spinner on his team. Oh, he's Blastoise, doesn't he? Alright. I, I never think of Blastoise because I'm so used to seeing Mega Blastoise. I should talk louder. I'm, I'm like whispering right now. I apologize. Uh, don't worry, I'm not the luckiest person. Okay, so I spelled worry wrong. I apologize, I'm getting slightly distracted here. Oh, I didn't know it gave me a defense boost, that's nice. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and go for another Diamond Storm here. He goes for a Thunder. We are incredibly bulky with max HP alone, so I'm not too worried. He, okay, you know what? With Diamond Storm, I can see how <laughs> this can be an OU Pokemon because this thing will not die on the physical side. Even if Zygarde comes in an Earthquake, I don't think we'll be doing too much to us. Um... Yeah, yeah, I wanted to test it out. Oh, jeez, I apologize for putting that on the screen. If it was, I'm not sure. I I should stop doing this, but first game today. Um, okay, sorry, I will try and get less distracted. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into... I kind of want to go into Manswine, but that makes no sense. Um, I'm going to go into Venusaur because I can potentially put this thing to sleep if we are lucky. Um, Alright, so he's going to go ahead and Mega Evolve and go for a Water Ball. See, I told you, they're not spinners, at least not most of them. Uh, Alright, I'm going to go ahead and go for a Sleep Powder. Please don't hit yourself. Dragon Pulse, that's weird. I don't see Dragon Pulse very often. Anyways, that is put to sleep now, which um, neutralizes him quite a bit. I thought I had Energy Ball on that. Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna go for a Giga Drain here as he switches out into Zygarde. That's fantastic. So long as he, um... Oh, crit. Oh, I'm sorry about the crit. Sorry about the crit. Uh, same as my showdown name. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, I was gonna say put this thing to sleep. That does no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> uh, what's yours? Okay, so let me go ahead and just 
I kind of want to switch now and go into Clefable. Um, so I think he will end up going for an Earthquake, but Clefable should be able to take one. And the main specially offensive threat on his team is, uh, what's its face? The Nido King. And I'm not particularly scared of Nido King. Or, uh, and, well, and also, this won't be able to do anything. And we get a crit. Um, uh, sure. I apologize about that. Um, okay. So, he goes into Neo King now, and like I said, I don't really need this. I'm just gonna go ahead and go for a Moon Blast, hopefully get off some damage. He is physical, that's odd. Um, okay. Kinda wanna go into Mamswine. I know I want that speed though. Yeah, you know what? Um, we should probably be able to focus blast. We are especially offensive. I'm just gonna go for an ice school crash in case he wants to go into Cresselia, because we can't give him a free switch into that. He goes into Umbreon, actually, that's a little odd. Um, what did I put as my last move? Stone Age, okay. I thought maybe knock off and knock off would be a little bit nice in this situation. Um I guess now would be a kinda good time to get up my rocks, but there's really no point. I'm just gonna go for an Earthquake, because uh, he's not really gonna have time to stall if he's already at such low HP. So, he can't go for a Wish now. I'm assuming he's gonna go into Cresselia, and if he doesn't, he will end up dying this turn. If he does go into, uh, what's his name? Uh, though, that would be a huge issue if he goes into Blastoise. Uh, Alright, so we still can potentially kill, um, depending on Moon Max, with Ice Crash. So, hopefully... Hopefully we got this, so please, please don't do this, Umbreon. Um, if he gets the double protect, I'm gonna cry, potentially. Uh, no, I don't do that. So, let me go into Venusaur now, because Venusaur can sort of deal with this thing pretty well. I'm assuming you guys have figured out at this point. Um, I wish this was especially defensive, but whatever. Um, you know what I could do? I could make this especially defensive and then go ahead and replace this with a... What's it called? <laughs> with a Quagsire, but actually no, that because that'd throw off the physical special split on this team. I Do I have something to sleep right now? I don't think so. No, because this was my thing that I put to sleep. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this to sleep again. And then I do have synthesis, so I can go ahead and recover a lot easier than just going for a Giga Drain, which seems a little silly because I could go for a Giga Drain on this, but whatever. Alright, so he's going to go out into this. That's perfectly okay with me. Um, I don't know why it's named Florges Eater if we're in OU, but whatever. Uh, go back into Minus Wine. And we're going to go ahead and just go for Icicle Crash again. Um, it's weird that he's running physical. I don't see that very often, and I mean, I'm all for using cool sets and all, but I don't know. I think physical Nido King is a bit strange. <laughs> so, all right. Okay, I think he's just gonna forfeit. He said GG. So, um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go for another Ice Cold Crash. Fire Punch won't be doing too much. We are a Soul Vest, so yeah. Or not a Soul Vest. We're Thick Fat. That's what I was trying to say. Um, uh, okay, and then I'm just gonna go for an Earthquake now. I know he has to be asleep one more turn, because he only burned off one turn of sleep earlier. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and go out into Venusaur. Yeah, um, unfortunately, the ridiculous thing is, at this point, he can still stall me out with Cresselia. Cresselia is that bad. I don't know why Cresselia is an OU in the first place, because, like, uh, this is a pretty decent team, and I can easily get walled by Cresselia. Like, legitimately every member. If I, okay, he finally does get some hacks, and I flinch, which is okay with me. I kind of did need to pay it back at that point. I wish I had kept this around to put the Cresselia to sleep, but I'm not too broken up about it, because I do have, um, Tornadus, who can, I'm assuming Oka this with an Acrobatics, because Acrobatics is quite powerful as well as, nope. Um, see, Assault Vest would come in handy in this situation. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and U-turn here, get back some Regenerator, 
And I'm just gonna go into Alakazam, because Alakazam has Shadow Ball to hit Cresselia. So, I really hope he doesn't have time to set up Calm Minds, but if he does, we do have Tornadus sitting back here. And Tornadus can start dealing quite a bit of damage with Knock Off, and then, um, what's it called? And then some Acrobatics. I hate this Pokemon so much, oh my gosh. Alright, um, can Diancy do anything? Actually, Diancy might be able to. Oh, I have, I have Explosion. I do, I do, I do. So let's go ahead and go hope for the drops here. Um, I could just pause and wait out the stall, but if something important happens, whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and wait out the stall on camera because, or camera, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and just go for another Shadow Ball here. I'm not too worried about this. He will unfortunately go for a Moonlight this turn unless he, oh, we get a crit. Okay, GG. I already said GG. Um... Anyways, I wasn't too worried about it. I had multiple things to take that out. He's getting slightly upset, and I already said GG. So let's go ahead and find another battle. Hopefully this one I won't get so distracted. I do apologize about that, but whatever. All right, so he has a lot of things that are either lower than this tier or used to be in this tier and are now lower than this tier. All right, anyways, so I'm predicting the quite obvious Mamswine lead. And actually, I'm going to leave my own Mammoth Swine predicting his Mammoth Swine. <laughs> um, he leads out with Main Chow, that's a bit unfortunate. But I do have Venusaur, who's pretty much a hard counter to this thing, unless all of a sudden it gets Psycho Cut. And it kind of looks like it does. What if Main Chow was Psychic fighting? That'd be awesome. Anyways, he's going to go for a Fake Out. Like I said, not too worried about that. I'm going to go ahead and just go for a... Giga Drain now. He can go into Klefki, and Klefki will pretty much hardball this set, which would be a bit unfortunate, but whatever. Alright, so he's gonna go into Bayonet. I did go for a Giga Drain, right? I did, and that's gonna end up doing quite a bit, considering that it's Bayonet. If he wants to burn me, I'm not concerned. I do have a Heal bell -er, so yeah. Alright, let's go for another Giga Drain here. It won't kill, because, you know, boosted defenses and such. I'm gonna put this thing to sleep, so it won't be able to, um... Go for Priority Destiny Bonds, I'll put it to sleep and then I'll probably just go for like a- Okay, he's gonna burn me, and that's per fantastic because that means he's not going for two Destiny Bonds, so yeah. If you want to keep this as a sleep fodder, that would kinda suck, but eh, it's whatever. Alright, he's gonna go out and Clef Key. That's what I figured he'd do in the first place, and he made quite an interesting play by going for Destiny Bond, but he, if he did that on purpose, then this guy is a master. Um, <laughs> he's a wizard. Alright, I'm gonna go into Mammoth Swine now. He can't paralyze me or do much, really. Alright, he's gonna set up a light screen, and then obviously reflect after that. I'm not too worried, though. Mammoth Swine hits pretty hard, and we are the adamant over Jolly version, so... Yeah. Uh, mainly because we're a Salt Vest, so we need our bulk, but whatever. Okay, so... I really, really want to predict Cloyster to come in now. And... I'm not particularly keen on that whole idea, so I'm hoping it doesn't. I'm just gonna go for another Earthquake here, and he kills off Klefki. I'm assuming he's going into Cloyster. Now, Cloyster shouldn't be able to do all too much to me. Um, after Shell Smash, obviously it will, but um, Ice Skull Spear, I do resist because of the cat, and Rock, whatever it's called, Rock Blast, isn't um, super effective against me, it's only neutral, so I'm pretty sure I can live one of whatever he wants to go for. He's gonna get incredibly greedy right now, and go for another one. That's gonna drop him quite low. Um, although, I do have Focus Sash Mammoth Swine, so, or not Mammoth Swine, Alexam, so that's slightly in our favor, I suppose. I'm not sure how this is gonna play out. I'm pretty sure we can do it, okay, with Ice Shard. Uh, no, we cannot, but if he goes for a Razor Shell... Razor style? Razor Shell? Seriously? Um, well, we lose at this point. That's so dumb! Ugh, alright. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go out into Venusaur, maybe? And just go for a Giga Drain? Maybe. Ice School Spirit? Wow. That's just 21%. That's so much. That's way too much. Um, okay, let's go into Diancy, yeah, Moonblast, actually that doesn't make any sense, we're gonna go for Diamond Storm, um, okay, so, if we somehow live this, that, that'd that be great, but I assume we won't, so, ah, yeah. oh, that's so cheap, ah, that's so dumb, anyways, so, 
I'm gonna start the timer here. I'm pretty sure we just lost this, but that's that's dumb. Um, whatever. Yeah, I guess you win some, you get screwed over by assholes on some. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Oh, gee, I wonder what he's gonna lead with. Yep. Yep. Definitely not the thing I wanted to. Oh, he leads out with Espeon. That's kind of weird. I do outspeed this. I think. No, wait. No, Espeon has 110 speed and 130 special attack. That's what it is. So I do have speed it. Um, unfortunately, I think a knockoff would have killed, but whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and go out into... Oh, wait, it has magic rebounds. So I was gonna say Deontay instead of rocks, but that doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna go mount into Mammoth Swine, and Mammoth Swine will be able to, um, Ice Shard, or, or not Ice Shard, or Icicle Crash next turn. So, yeah. Um, just in case he wants to go into one of his flying types, because he has many flying types. On this team. I, will, I would assume Gyarados would come in if you wanted to pick either of the two, but whatever. Um, or you could just try and set up light screen, I guess, but I think that that would be kind of silly. If somehow Icicle Crash doesn't kill, it'll definitely bring it down to the range where a an Ice Shard will. Alright, so he's going to go right into this now. This does carry Solar Ring, but I am still best. I have quite a bit of HP. I'm pretty sure I can live one and go for a Stone Edge, so I'm going to go ahead and try. If this ends up backfiring, that would suck, but whatever. He goes for a uh, Fire Blast. I assumed Solar Beam because it's super effective, but whatever. Uh, Stone Edge does kill, which is nice because that threat is now out of the way. Unfortunately, we kind of lost our Mammoth Shine in the process, although I would love to keep it around for um, Death Fodder, or not Death Fodder purposes, for um, priority purposes. So, um... I kind of want to go into Tornado. I don't have anything for Sizzle around this team. I'm going to go out into my Venusaur, and then I'm going to put it to sleep. Wow. Oh, he's Life Orb. That's weird. I've never seen a Life Orb Scizor. I mean, I guess it, you know, it's not that weird, because his Life Orb is one of the most common items in the game. But it's just weird, because you either are only, you only ever see Banded or Mega, or, I guess, like, Leftovers bulky, but whatever. Um, I would love to start the timer on you. If he switches now, that would be absolutely horrible, because we need the Scizor asleep. And we miss! Oh, that's fantastic. Anyways, he is whittling himself down a little bit with, um, Life Orb, so that's nice at least. He goes, into his, he goes into his Espeon, which is obviously going to be quite a problem. He's, he's gonna quite... It's quite obvious that he's gonna try and set up screens. Or his other screen. Nope, he's just gonna go for straight for a psychic. I'm gonna go ahead and go for a knockoff here. And Espeon's dead, which is nice, because, you know, we didn't want that around anymore. Um, let's see here. He goes into Tyranitar. Uh, that should die behind screens to a superpower. Wow, he's physically defensive? That's really dumb. That's really dumb. That's really, really, really dumb. Um, screens do go away now, which is nice. I'm gonna go ahead and go out into probably yeah. Let's go out on Mammoth Swine. We have figured out that he is physically defensive, but whatever. Let's go for an earthquake now as he goes into Scizor. That was a horrible play, and I would love to get off some more damage with Ice Shard, and we get a crit, which is fantastic. Uh, he doesn't quite die to life orb damage, but whatever. Let's go into Venusaur now, and let's go ahead and go for a Synthesis, because it won't gain us back very much HP, because we're in the Sandstorm, but we still will get back some HP, which is quite important at this point. So, yeah, we get back about 30%. Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead and switch into Clefable now, because Clefable is defensive, not especially defensive, or not physically defensive, but it is still defensive nonetheless. And I'm gonna go ahead and go for a Thunder Wave because I would love having something Thunder Wave on this team. It's going to be Sylveon, unfortunately, but whatever. I'm going to go out into Deancey now and go for Diamond Storms. If he wants to switch out into Scizor and Bullet Punch me, that would be slightly unfortunate, but he can't hard switch because it'll die to a Diamond Storm. So let me go ahead and go for it, and we miss. Fantastic. Um, okay, I'm going to go for another Diamond Storm, and we do get the Fence Boost, as well as hit that thing incredibly hard. Um, alright, let me go for another one, as he switches out into, no, he's gonna kill off his scissor. I guess he was hoping for a miss, which is kind of ridiculous, so, yeah. Okay, he goes back out into Sylveon now, I think that's kind of silly. At this point, we've won, because I don't think a Gyarados' is <laughs> waterfall will be doing very much to me. I guess he was trying to bash off the wish, but, I mean, 
There was no way for him to be able to. He's gonna say GG. He has no, he knows that he has lost. Uh, GG. Wait, do we not have a hundred percent chance? Uh, how does Diamond Storm work? Slash data, Diamond Storm. I'm curious what the boost chance is. It's a fifty percent chance. So we've just get, been getting incredibly lucky. Except for that last turn, obviously, but he did end up forfeiting. Anyways, I will be back in one second. Back, sorry about that. You know, thinking now, I probably should have found a battle before I said I'm back. Whatever. Um, okay, so... Oh, he said... Nice. Okay, so, let's see here. He's got a weird team. Um, I think he's gonna talk about Deante. He said, hold the phone. I, you guys can see it. Who am I gonna... Um, since today, <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and lead out with Alexam, maybe? Yep. Okay, ah, I, I don't know, because I don't have anything to deal with Skarmory, at least not effectively, in Japan. Okay, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna lead out with Tornadus because Tornadus could sort of do something to, uh, Skarmory because it could super power in the new turn. Oh, he leads out with Greninja, that's unfortunate. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into Clefable now. Clefable should be able to take anything Greninja wants to do. Um, yeah, we pretty much take that Ice Beam quite effectively. I'm gonna go ahead and go for a Thunder Wave now. I would love to have this thing crippled. Um... He goes into Charizard, that's also okay with me. <laughs> okay. So, let me go out. Yeah, I apologize. Um, let me go out into Mamoswine now. If he wants to go for a Fire Blast, that would suck. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but, I'm not too worried about it because, as we saw before, we can live one. Um, yeah. All, a lot of normal types do, and, well,. I guess Clefable's not really a normal type, but it used to be, so, I don't know, depending on how you look at it. He has a Belly Jump Charizard Y, this guy knows what's up. Unfortunately, he was paralyzed, but that's still awesome. Okay. <laughs> it sucks, because I'm not worried about anything on his team except for Skarmory. Ah, okay, anyways, I'm going to go for an Ice Cold Crash. I would love to get off some damage on this Skarmory. Um, and we get a flinch, that is so nice, because so long as the Sturdy is broken, I'm not... The, I'm not worried about this thing too much. What is this thing's ability? Okay, for a second I thought it had oh, obviously has sturdy. That's what it just pretty much said. Um, I was just worried about it having what's it called the um the thing with the yeah um overcoat. Yeah, I guess it kind of makes sense for Skarmory to have an overcoat. Um, anyways, I think I have devised a plan. I'm not entirely sure though. Alright, let's go ahead and Venusaur, as he roosts. That's incredibly unfortunate. Um, I didn't think about this, because he's going to go for a um, a thing. I have the Yancey, and he can't really touch the Yancey, can he? So let's do that. Let's go ahead and do the eye. Oh, God. What? <laughs> um, uh, what is this sorcery here? He has Iron Head. That's what I was worried about, but I've never seen an Iron Head Skarmory before. Alright, let's go into, um, Alex M, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go for a Focus Blast here. Focus Blast should be able to, I'm not sure if it Oko, but it should be able to do quite a bit. Um, especially if he's speed invested, which I'm assuming he is. He throws out an Iron Head. Focus Blast did 58%. And then, neither stab, let's see here. So, would you have, no, I'm not going to risk it. Okay, good, we do end up hitting both of them, and Skarmory's down. Unfortunately, we did lose Deancey, but whatever. It's not like Deancey was too useful against this team. It would have been useful against, um, Sylveon looking back on it, but whatever. Alright, you go into Digger Speed now. I will, gee, I wonder what you're going to do. Probably not the only thing that Digger Speed does, being Scarf. No, you just have Quick Attack. Okay, um, I'm okay with that too. You might be banded based off that damage. Uh, either way, I'm going to go for a Gear Drain now because I don't think you're going to switch out to Gengar. I see no reason for you to. So I'm just going to do that. Um, and I could switch again, but there's no not much point. He's going to switch into Gengar now. That's perfectly okay with me. 
I'm really not worried about anything Gengar wants to do. Do I outspeed this with Alakazam? I don't think I do. It's a speed die, right? Slash data Alakazam. No, Alakazam's 120. I'm, I don't know why I thought Alakazam had base 110 speed. Alright. I c oh, I was going to say I could sack off Alakazam. That doesn't make much sense now, does it? I love Clefable for his thing, so I'm just going to go ahead and sleep powder this. Okay, he sets up sub. That's unfortunate, but whatever. Uh, we could so we we can still take it to it decently well. Um, he's a sub split Gengar. That's kind of weird. I have definitely never seen that set. Um, I think sub Wisp is a bit more practical, but whatever. He's gonna get a crit on Shadow Ball. That's great. Um, either way, we don't really need Venusaur, so I'm gonna sack it. And we have seen the guys Black Sludge over a Focus Ash, which is fantastic. Which may sound crazy, but yes, I have seen Sash sub Gengar before. Or Haunter, one of the two. Either way, something's gonna get bopped by a, uh, Fog uh, Psyshock right now. If he wants to go out of Greninja, like I said, we do have Clefable, and Clefable has reliable recovery, so I'm really not worried about anything he wants to do right now. He is gonna go out into Sylveon, of all things. I mean, I guess he expected a Psychic, but that's still kind of a strange switch. I'm gonna go out into Mamoswine now, and he's gonna go for a Draining Kiss. That's gonna get back a lot of HP. Alright, let me go for an Earthquake right now. If he wants to go into Gengar, then uh, he could be my guest. He's gonna go for a Hidden Power Fire. Do people not know this gets Thick Fat, or do they just think that I run Oblivious? I don't know. Alright. Um, I know an Ice Oak Rash will definitely kill from there, and he's gonna go into Gengar quite obviously, so, yeah. And then I do have Ice Shard to seal the deal, so... Ugh. Oh, he's gonna go into Greninja, that's unfortunate. I wish I had gotten rid of that Gengar, I do have ways to deal with it, being Ice Shard and Alakazam just being amazing and such. Alright, let's go to Clefable now, he's gonna go for, um, Grass Knot, actually. I don't know how he didn't predict that switch, but whatever. He's probably one of those players that's just like, it's in front of me, it's there. That's the only Pokemon that could I could make a play for. Alright. I'm really predicting this thing to come out, but... Uh, yeah, let's just go under Tornadus because Digger's Beast is going to come out. We already saw the Digger's Beast is banded, at least I'm assuming, so I'll definitely outspeed it and I can go for an Acrobatics. As he can really only quick attack if he wants to get off any damage, or he could go ahead and sack one of his other things for no apparent reason and then just get off a quick attack later after sacking some stuff, but whatever. It's really up to him. Unless he's scarfed with Quick Attack, which would just be J. Okay, he's gonna go ahead and take the uh, the second option and sack some things before coming in a second time and picking the exact same move. So, <laughs> nice, nice job. All right, so Tornadus is going to go ahead and I'm pretty sure end up cleaning up with a nice little 4-0 sweep there. We get attracted. I'm not sure if that stays. I certainly hope it doesn't. He's gonna forfeit. Alright, so Tornado still did pick up the four piece sweep, so that's that that's nice. Alright. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I sound quite a bit less tired, it's cause I just ate and food, you know, makes you less tired. I'm not sure. You guys get the basic idea of it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed DNC's release, so go ahead and have some fun with that if you would like. Um definitely take my set. It's the best set I've seen so far, considering it's the only one I've seen. So, wait a minute, Age of Slash is suspect? That's really dumb. Anyways, sorry, getting distracted. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye! Okay, I'm gonna say it normally. Bye. <laughs>